You're listening to Curious and Interesting, a two-minute podcast on what's new and intriguing in the world of advertising research. I'm Dr. Barbara Phillips, editor of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising. A popular meme reads, the most expensive thing about having kids is all the wine you have to drink. Being a wine mom on social media is trendy and hip, but it also may be unhealthy. A recent 11% increase in women's yearly alcohol use and a 30% increase in women's high-risk drinking behavior has been called a public health crisis. Historically, women's drinking hasn't been much of a problem, given that female intoxication has been deemed culturally inappropriate, especially for mothers. So what's changed? It's the internet. Social networking sites are influential communication tools that provide an open and free platform for individuals to interact and establish supportive groups. However, they also can generate antisocial behavior through the dissemination of harmful information, such as normalizing problem drinking and connecting drinking to one's identity. Dr. Elizabeth Crawford and colleagues decided to explore the role social networks play in women's drinking. They analyzed a popular Facebook page titled Mummy Drinks Wine and Swears that has more than half a million followers. The authors examined 99 alcohol-related posts with 35,000 comments over a one-year period. First, they noticed that mothers don't consider their drinking to be risky. Followers feel safe drinking large quantities of alcohol because most of the drinking occurs within the safety of their own homes. Next, drinking rituals and special times of day help transform the group's stressful lives by allowing them to relax. For example, one post stated, It's not quite there, but it's almost wine o'clock. Third, the posts and comments illustrate that drinking provides women with the abilities they need to cope with their lives. For example, fun parent drinking game, Take a shot every time your child whines. Lol, don't do this. You will die. Digging deeper into the comments, the researchers found that alcohol is used by mothers as an escape from the daily stress of work and parenthood. Losing control through alcohol provides a break from the crushing load of responsibility they often bear. These mothers associate drinking with empowerment and status. Being able to parent, work, and drink large quantities of alcohol proves that they are strong and capable. Finally, participating in a wide online social drinking network lessens the stigma associated with drinking alone and demonstrates that other women endorse such behavior. One post read, Us mums really need to stick together. And by stick, I mean drink. And by together, I mean vodka. It's funny. So what's the problem? Mothers are subject to high levels of stress because of work outside and inside the home and unrealistic social and cultural pressures. Treating stress with alcohol can reduce a mother's ability to find the resources she needs to overcome the strain caused by unreasonable life demands. Recent research in experimental psychology has found that connection, not sobriety, is the opposite of addiction. However, these mothers are connecting on Facebook without the true connections of a strong face-to-face community. The researchers suggest that one of the greatest challenges this study presents is intervention. Social media relies on user-generated content, which is not subject to regulation in the same way that alcohol advertising is. Public service announcements are not likely to be effective with these mothers because they do not perceive their behavior as risky. One way forward might be for communication professionals concerned with public health to collaborate with local groups that facilitate in-person relationships among mothers, providing real support and encouragement. Other family members, such as fathers and workplaces, also have a role to play in reducing mother's stress. Perhaps then we would see fewer social media posts like this one. Sometimes, self-care is about taking a shot of vodka and moving on. For more information, this research paper was published in the 2020 issue of the Journal of Current Issues and Research in Advertising.